good boy, clever boy. We're now in the town and what I'm trying to do is to condition to get Dieter used to all the sounds that you meet in a local town. To you and I, all these sounds are normal. We've been brought up with them, but not a dog. Just listen to that loudness of these lorries going past and vehicles. And he's watching all them and he's getting used to all those sounds. I'm going to shut the cage. Good boy. I've shut the cage because I want to make some points. In this town here, we don't just have the vehicular traffic, but we have all the other sounds that we take for granted in town. There's people walking past. Sometimes there's people raising their voices, shouting at each other. There's the beep of car horns. There's the squeal of brakes, motorcycles, pedal cycles children going past and chattering. We take all this sound as normal background sound to our lifestyle. But to a young puppy that's been bred in a quiet place, this is all new. If the puppy seems a little bit unnerved, the best thing to do is go down a side street where there's less noise and see how the puppy reacts to that. Because one day it has to walk in this environment it has to get used to all these noises in the same way as we did. If you leave it too late, that can be a problem for the future. Oh. I've now taken Dita out of the cage. He seems quite at ease with all the noises. And if you look at his ears, he's fascinated by all the people passing by. A puppy with a good temperament should be inquisitive. It should be interested in this environment. Oh, clever boy. And of course, I'm giving him confidence by holding him. I'm not gonna put him down because I don't know what dogs have been around here. And I don't want him to catch any diseases, but it doesn't stop him taking in this environment to develop his temperament. Isn't that right? Good boy. Now I've just walked a few feet up and down the road so the puppy can have the confidence he's in my arms, but he can still see what's going on. What you need to do with this sort of socialization is come out every two or three days. You can sit in the back of the car like I did before. You can bring the puppy out like this. If at any time the puppy seems unnerved, go back to the cage where it'll feel secure, go to a quieter location. But most puppies, after a while, get to love coming out and meeting the real world, even if it's that big and noisy. I'm outside Waitrose in Berkhamsted. This is quieter than the main street. And again, Dieter, seeing the cars going about him, pedestrians coming up. Some people will want to stroke him sometimes. That's fine, provided they haven't got dogs with them. Because um, I don't want to transmit any illnesses with the puppy. But just by wandering around here in this way, letting him see all the cars backing out, again, he's getting a positive induction into the real world. This all adds up to his education. There's lots more for him to learn, but for a puppy, it can be quite bemusing to see all what's going on. I'm walking back with him now. There's plenty of cars passing us, but these cars are much quieter because they're going at a very slow speed, maybe three, four miles per hour. We can hear the engines, and that's more good practice. Adorable. Hello. What are you doing this for? It's oh. on, I'll film on puppies. Is it? Because uh, I've got a dog at the moment, we're getting a new dog, and I just saw him and I thought, it's just adorable. Well, this is about socialisation. Oh, is it? Oh, um, yeah. Because he's too young 
to be on the floor. Yeah, how Because he's, he? he's just over, he's seven and a half weeks. So he hasn't had his, his jabs yet? No. Right? And he's just but I want him to get used to the noise and traffic. Yeah, Danny, I've got a Rottweiler, so um, oh, we've, big dogs Well, we've had here. them. Yeah, I love Rottweilers and shepherds. We'll definitely have a shepherd, but he is just beautiful. Well, his mum and dad come from Czechoslovakia. Really? It's, a, it's a different strain, it's a working strain. Yeah, me too, I was stunning. Isn't he stunning? Beautiful, is he a German shepherd? He is indeed. His How name, he's just over seven weeks, and his name is Dieter. Dieter. German? Yes, for a German shepherd. Yeah. Now he's just watching everything about him and taking it in, so he has a nice temperament. Yeah. So he's um, he's really enjoying that. Should we go back in? Beautiful. Okay. Thank you. You've actually um, helped us a little bit. But, but 